are anointed in the name. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Anointed in the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Close your eyes. Jesus' name. Blessed. You are blessed. Amen. These people must not be separated. These people must not be separated. And Mutwana, Mutwana will know that they are servants of God. Through these people. These, these two people. The grace that is upon this man. This man is a, is a real apostolic calling. This man. It's an apostolic calling. That's a tennis fighting. And then also with wrong decisions, whatever that has happened to him, losing his mom, marrying the wife, all these things are attacks. A rejection that this man is facing after he married the wife. Confusion. There you go. This is confusion. This man is going through. Where everybody around him will be confused. But God is about to use these two people. This man here is going to be a prophet. A serious prophet in each other. But I saw this man going out of the country. The apostle, this one. This one. I saw him. No one has done what this man has done. You can even ask them. They know. It will turn now as we are speaking. No one is having what this man is saying. So that's what they will fight him. And people that don't understand him. Pastors, they don't even understand him. There's a lot of confusion in the channel. But God is fighting for these people. Let me lay my hands on them in Jesus' name. And you can see Bozati Buddha. Jesus' name. In fact, I will pray for this man. This one, this one. God bless. Amen. Greetings to you all over the world. My name is uh, Apostle Joshua Mabi from Botswana. I came to Charis Church here in South Africa uh, to see a man of God one-on-one. -on -one. Actually, I want to stand and confirm that indeed I met a man of God through the grace of God. He gave me the accurate prophecies. Indeed, what was tormenting me, he prophesied me. He told me about the issue that brought me here was my ministry of the church, the stagnancy, the limitation, and stuff like that. So what e everything that a man of God has said, I stand to confirm it was 100% true. So therefore, I want to encourage you that uh, there is God in this place. There is God. I have seen it. I have received my deliverance. The man of God has spoke to my life, and I'm free. I'm delivered, and I want to thank God for that. Okay, let me say this. What man of God said to me about the ministry, the problem that I was actually facing in the church, limitation, rejection, and people not appreciating. The man of God prophesied about the church and whatever that I was going through, that I'm facing a serious challenge. The devil have long fight me when I was very young and still fighting me today. And the issue of uh, Lucy, my, my mother, that the devil used it to pay me. And I stand to confirm it. It's very true ever since that I lost my mother. I have never had peace and stuff like that and the issue of my marriage that the devil wanted to use my marriage uh, to destroy my life and stuff like that so i confirm it in every single way that the man of god was true the prophecy was 100 percent true the limitation that i was facing it affected me a lot because sometimes i would try to work hard try to do the right things and i will not see good result from that. I will still keep on facing stagnancy, 
or all those kind of problems. That's how it affected me. It didn't give me peace because I will always sit down and ask myself, I'm, I'm doing things right, I'm trying to do this, and, but the results are not good. Today, after meeting a man of God, after the man of God prayed actually for us, prayed for me, I, I felt peace and I, I know I'm, I'm free. And the man of God, all, all, he spoken again to my life. He told me that the church will grow, the grace is too much, and I will travel over the place in this apostolic uh, mission. As a youth pastor to say, or a, a young apostle to say, uh, it is good to come here to a man of God like Apostle Makananisa, a man of God with experience, to come and guide you, to come and help us, to come and counsel us. And uh, indeed I believe and I know it worked for us for being here. So it's good and I want to encourage all young pastors there to come. It's a very good place, it's a very anointed man of God, he's a good counselor, he's a good advisor. That's what I can say.